Hello there, Lawrence Grayson back again for shortformvideo.com with an After Effects quick tip that some of you may find rather useful. Now, uh, one of the questions I get asked from time to time is uh, how exactly do you loop a pre-comp? Now, we've, uh, we've covered looping a pre-rendered uh, video asset before, um, and if you're not aware of that, you simply right-click and go to Interpret Footage and Main, and then you'll find down at the bottom um, the loop function, and you can set that to loop as many times as you like. But uh, that's all well and good. It doesn't actually help you if you, what you want to do is create a pre-comp and then loop that several times. Now, the answer is actually pretty simple, but there is a little catch that you need to be aware of before you start. So let me demonstrate. I've got this uh, pre-comp already set up. It's a fairly simple ball bouncing animation. Now, the reason it's looping right now is because I've got the uh, loop set up on the RAM preview. If I create a new composition, which is... Let's call it uh, 20 seconds long. And I drop that pre-comp into it. You'll notice on the timeline that it only stretches for its um, existing duration, which is just over two seconds. So to loop this, you right click on the pre-comp, go to time, and then enable time remapping. And this will automatically create two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end of your clip. One of the things you'll notice now is that you can grab the handle at the end of your clip, so I can just drag to fill the uh, entire 20 second composition. Now the first stage of looping it is to go to the stopwatch under time remap, hold down alt and click on the stopwatch to bring up the expressions value. And you just type in loop out open bracket close bracket and click somewhere else to finish it off. But there is, as I said, there's a small catch involved. Because the loop out function starts from the zero point in your composition, what will happen when it gets to the end of the um, keyframe section that you've created, you'll get a single black frame, which will uh, annoy the crap out of you um, if you try and play it back. So uh, the way to fix this is you navigate to the um, out point keyframe, hit page up once to navigate one frame back, create a new keyframe, and then delete the old out point. Now I want to hit shift and zero to create a round preview. You'll see I have a perfectly looping pre-comp. Okay, so that's that quick tip sorted. I um, hope you found it useful. Yes, I will be working on the next tutorial project very, very shortly, but I thought you might be interested in seeing this one. As I say, it's a question that comes up from time to time. So once again, hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.